Okay, we're going to go over some screen size um, uh, changes we can make to get an idea for some of the things we can do here. Um, first off, if you just want to change the actual size of the screen so you can put more objects on it or whatever, you can go to screen properties and change the size of the screen. So let's do it like this. Tab uh, 768. It's pretty typical resolution. Say apply. Say okay. Notice that the screen got really big. And we'll zoom out here so we can see everything. We'll zoom out to 50%. Big screen. Notice all the stuff moved down low. And that's and that's because the origin of the screen is measured from the bottom left. So down here, um, zero, and everything's all the objects are relative to that. So we made the screen bigger. These objects had their same orientation to the zero from the, to the origin of the screen, the zero zero point. But the screen got taller. It got taller this way and wider this way. So this ended up in the lower part. So that now gives you more space to real estate to move things. You can. Um, select all and, and drag the stuff to the center of the snooze screen if you wanted do whatever you want um, that's one thing if you just want more real estate on the screen we can do that um, if that's not what you wanted to do if you just want the screen to display a certain size or a certain way on the target runtime system we do that with screen shortcuts and command line arguments so that's what we're going to do next we'll look at one of those uh, so before we go in uh, too much about the shortcuts, let's quickly recall how Simplicity works. There's really two main components that you work with Complicity, the project and the SimView screen. So firstly, you want to make sure the project's running. And may, when we're just working uh, normally, we just start it in the workbench. But on a computer system, a runtime system, you'll start it on startup with a computer. And that's done in here, programs, Simplicity SCADA, Simplicity Options. All right, and we'll fire that up here. And if we look at the startup options, right now we can see that the Luber project is running. We see that here, running projects. Now in the startup options, we could add that project to start up when the computer starts. And I just go navigate to wherever I park that guy. And if we look here, we see I parked him at a C, Simplicity HMI projects, Luber. And there he is right there. Go grid him, say OK. And now he's here when we start up. All right. And I would say apply and OK and all that. So. OK, so we know what project's running and we've made it, we've added it to the start option. So when the computer starts, the project starts. But what screen do you want to display? That screen is done with a shortcut. And that shortcut is going to go in the start menu. So usually that's if we go here to the all users and give it a second to pop up here. Start menu programs, startup directory. This is where we'll put that, we'll eventually put our shortcut to start it up on the, um, when the computer starts up. All right. So we don't really have to worry about this right now, but that's eventually where it's going to go. Let's go look at the shortcut itself now. All right. Let's go look at the shortcut we're going to actually use to uh, start up a simplicity screen. Um, I've got some shortcuts on the desktop here and let's just look at this one here. Uh, this one will start, if I fire this up, it'll start this main screen filling up our entire sh our entire computer monitor. So let's hit it. Go ahead and execute this. We can double click on it. And there's the screen. So that fills it up. Notice there's no menu or title or anything. This is probably what we want on most startups. And every screen that's opened after that, or from this screen, will be in the same... Um, will be in the same format. The buttons are where you need them. And if we go to, I created, I made one of these buttons so it works. It goes over there. And now we're at this other thing. And if, uh, I can't go back because I didn't put a thing, but I can close it. And it's good to go. So now let's look at this uh, title, uh, the shortcut that opens the screen. So I right click on it, say properties. And here's the, uh, here's the um, command line that actually runs it. It's going to look in the file where the simplicity project, where the, the project with the executable is. And it's down over there. And then it's going to run this, uh, this uh, little command line. And if we go back here, you can see again it starts in that file. Program files, blah, blah, blah. Simplicity simview.exe. And then we're going to see some switches, some command line switches here. 
maximize, no menu title, and then the actual window we want to open. And if we look at that here in Notepad, this is what it looks like. So here's the executable, the SimView executable we talked about. Here are the command line arguments, maximize, no menu title, simplicity, and then the uh, screen. And where you find these command line um, arguments is in the help. And if I bring the help up someplace, here's a list of um, command line arguments. All right. And like I said, we're using a maximized and no menu title. And uh, one of the things to note about the shortcut is that you can put, you know, multiple um, maximize, no menu title. You can use as many of those switches as you need to get it to do what you want. So uh, one final thing we should check on is where does this thing, where does this actually go? And what you want to do is you want to put it in the startup directory like we described earlier. So C documents, all users, start menu, programs, startup file. And we put it here. So we could do one of these, control C, control V. And um, so now we have my shortcut here. If we right click, it's the same shortcut. But what will happen is on startup, it'll actually run this file here. All right.